Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Rav Shiva, the spiritual philanthropist. And this is Truth Evolution. So it's been a long time uh, that I've done any videos. So I wanted to do this video because uh, my search for God has been a very difficult one. Um, I've, and it, it's all been relevant, everything from, from you know, from my culture, uh, all the different religions that I've studied. Um, but I think at this point in time, what I'm doing is I'm seeing what's in my heart, you know, like who I am really. The decisions that I make, you know, and, and why I make them. And uh, I've been through a lot of adversity and, and self, you know, torture. And, uh, you know, we all have to fight within ourselves, you know. And uh, that's a continuous battle, how we fight and how we try and protect ourselves from ourselves. All right. And... Uh, one of the things that, that uh, I've been talking to a good friend of mine, and uh, he's one of the reasons that I'm kind of like going on this path now. So the path that, that I'm choosing is the one with Yeshua, who, who people know as Jesus, but Yeshua was the actual Aramaic name that he used. And uh, that's what he was called. He was called Yeshua when he was being mocked. He was called Yeshua by the Pharisees. He was called Yeshua when he was being beaten. And he was called Yeshua when he was praised. So these are things that I take into consideration. As I said, if I'm going to follow something, I want to follow it all the way. You know, I want the truth, and I want to do it in the same exact name that 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 he knew. Yeshua himself knew his name is that. You know, uh, Jesus is a European Latin version or something like that. That uh, you know, I guess a derivative of of the original. You know, Yeshua, which is Joshua in English, but it's not Aramaic. You know, and I think there's power in the name itself, you know, and, you know, if, if that was his name, I don't know why everybody calls him a different name. And then they talk about, you can't say the word Krishna, you can't say the word Allah, but they yet they're not calling him by Yeshua, his actual name, the name he said, you know, so it's just confusing to me. So it's things like that that I look at. So I, you know, I'm not saying that anybody else should do this, but for me personally, this is my path. I'm sharing it with you guys. Um, the other thing that I wanted to look at was that I wanted to talk about, like each time I do one of these videos, I'm going to break down my understanding of whatever I read. So one of the best things that I got out of the passage with, I believe it's Peter, and they were out on the boat, and Jesus, you know, told them to come out of the boat, and uh, he was afraid. He had a lot of fear inside of him, but Yeshua, Jesus, however you want to call him, right, said, you know, just come out and believe and have faith and when he came out of the boat you know he uh he was standing on the water and then you know it was miraculous in itself and this you know this is i also want to talk about how people interpret it all the time they call it a miracle the miracle of yeshua the miracle of jesus right and uh i think it's more than just a miracle you know i, I come from a yoga background and a pretty well read in most different religions and some have never even heard of I'm not calling myself a scholar, but I do see some insight. I'm also a very heavy meditator as well. Um, when Peter started to sink into the water, Yeshua reminded him and said, the reason that that's happening is you, you, your, faith, your faith is not on me. And that is a very powerful thing because it is a miracle in a sense, but it's, it's also something very practical as well because in meditation, you can't truly meditate if you don't have concentration, dharana, dhyana, and samadhi, right? You have to have concentration, you have to have meditation, you have to have concentration and meditation to get to the highest point. Now, that, I think that, that that's the word meditation, which I have to look up, I forget now, it's in Aramaic. It was it was also mentioned in the Bible. He be, uh, Yeshua meditated all the time in the gardens, especially. Um, they would always find him meditating. And... Uh, I think that the lesson in there is, yes, there was a miracle that may have been performed in that sense. I don't know. I wasn't there, but I'll believe it because it was written there. And I believe that all things are possible. And that's also another thing that Yeshua said. And the thing that I got out of it mostly was that if the mind was not concentrated on anything else, because Peter kind of got scared, his emotions took him and his fear took him. He turned around and saw the giant ocean and the turbulence and realized that he could die. His life was on the line at that moment. But at that moment, he forgot who was telling him to come out into the water. 
And I think that's interesting. That's a very interesting thing there. Because in life, we're kind of dropped here in this ocean of whatever this is, you know? You want to call it the matrix, reality, life, whatever you want to call it. And once we take our eyes off of God, right? Whatever you want to call God, I'm not going to say to use what I say, but whatever you want to call God, once we take our eyes off of that, then all of a sudden we are susceptible. We're susceptible to, sorry about that guys, just had to call, we're susceptible to anything that's not of God. And that will cause a lot of, a lot of distress in our lives. But I always tell people, if you're going to suffer, wouldn't you rather suffer for God knowing that it's for a reason? A reason higher than just your own selfish desires? Because the main reason that we suffer is for our selfish desires. And that's stated in almost every Bible in the world, in every holy book. So, just think about that, guys. Okay? I want you guys to marinate that in your thoughts. And you're going to see me go through whatever I'm learning. I'm going to give it to you guys as well. And like I said, you don't have to do what I do. Uh, I'm just sharing it with you guys. You guys know me from my page, The Spiritual Philanthropist on Facebook, and you know me, Truth Evolution on YouTube. I had another uh, YouTube, and I had a lot of a lot of people on there, and I took it off because a lot of stuff started happening. But I'm putting this one on, and hopefully this one will get the message across, and I will behave myself and uh, not get so worked up about things. But I had reasons. I mean, I had a lot of stuff going on in the last two years between the neck surgery, if you can see here, and uh, broken knee and if you see here I have scars all over here from the operation I had to take out the uh, the uh, gallbladder I had pancreatitis almost killed me and then uh, recently I took out a kidney stone that was like a boulder just kidding it was huge but it was one of the most painful things you ever have to go through but you know you know thank God I'm still here and I'm still doing my thing so guys I'm sorry I haven't been around uh, you're gonna see a lot more of of, uh, of these talks and I'm gonna talk about uh, a lot of these parables, a lot of the, the, the teachings, and, and try to dissect them from, from not only uh, an interpretation that I've read, but from my own interpretation, you know, and through contemplation and meditation of these things. And uh, hopefully, I would love to hear your feedback, and we can share in that, and uh, look forward to talking to you guys. All right? Be well, God bless, and I'll talk to you guys soon.